So I was just swimming and I saw this tangled like snake mess and I thought it was a snake just trying to get away from me. No, that is, that, that is a fucking water moccasin that's fully engulfed in another snake injecting its frickin' venom. You can tell by that one's head that it's not venomous. But it doesn't seem too affected by that head, which is totally a venomous snake head. That one's pretty dead now. Look, it's like all of... I mean, I know that's a venomous snake. You wouldn't even be able to see, look how black that is. That looks the same as that color. I wouldn't have been able to see it. That snake sure as hell didn't see it. That is a poisonous, they're both still fully alive, man. They are both fucking fully alive. What if I don't give a shit? What if I don't give a shit? He's just waiting until that thing dies. He's totally gonna eat that whole snake. Is he starting to swallow it yet? No, he's waiting for it to die. in kill mode, dude. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That one's totally alive. It's like, this is mine. This is mine. Look at that. Ooh. So this water moccasin dropped the other snake. The other snake went off. I was trying to carry them down stream as far as I could. But seeing as how this is the most popular swimming hole in 100 miles. Uh, and Alice and I discussed this at length. Um, it's either kill it or take it as far away as possible. Are we going to eat it for dinner? Uh, I would eat it for dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this about a three foot long water moccasin uh, and I hate killing anything but I don't want it to kill a person and there's a badass turtle in the swimming hole yep. I don't want it eating that turtle sharp rock there mm -hmm. I killed a rattlesnake once with a slingshot. It took about 10 rocks and its jaw was all hanging down and it took it back to the car and the only thing we had to chop his head off was a, a pair of rusty garden shears like hedge clippers. <laughs> and we tried to cut his head off with those hedge clippers and it just didn't happen. So we put it in a bunch of uh, grocery sacks with its like jaw hanging out and its like neck all like, crimped from the rusty garden shoes. <laughs> and uh, that was back in my hippie days. We had been smoking some pot, okay. And so we're driving back home off old 279 with this snake and a bunch of grocery sacks <laughs> in the back of the car. And it starts riding around <laughs> in those grocery sacks. Did you eat the rattlesnake? Yeah, I totally ate it. I don't kill things in that eat By this point, its neck is pretty much broken. I hit its head once pretty good. 
The only problem here is you don't want the venom to go into the meat. That would make for a bad dinner, huh? What do you got there? Uh, this is our dinner. Show us. It's pretty gross. It was moving up until a minute ago, even with its skin all off. Inside, it's all nice and clean. I cleaned it all out. Yeah. Took the guts out. Took all the silver skin and lining out. And here's the skin. Can't see because it's inside out right now. But I just pulled that off, gutted it, and now we have a carcass. It's a pretty gruesome experience. You didn't do anything. I watched. That's oh. Enough. Okay. Yeah. Heat it low and slow. Low and slow. Mm -hmm. Excited? I am kind of excited. It's kind of satisfying to cook something that I saw killed. Okay. It's uh, probably on the medium rare side. I taste it a little bit. It tastes like fish. But I think Allison is ready to eat it. Ew. How did you get the meat off? Um, how did I skin it? What do you think? It's not bad. <laughs> Some parts you like pick it up and it peels off all long and creepy like. Like that. There you go. Something between like fish and beef jerky and string cheese. First snake ever? First snake ever. Roasted. First thing first thing that I've seen killed that I've gotten to eat ever. Really? And it's a snake. Mm -hmm. A poisonous snake, no less. Yeah. I kinda feel like a badass. <laughs>